you know, I'm sure there's a lot of them out there that do the same thing every day and they do not get that recognition for it. And I think we take it for granted. We hear about it, but until you're on that end of it, you really appreciate it. Appreciation there for an off-duty firefighter that saved a life. Today, Clifton Vaught is grateful for the young man who jumped into action, saving his life at the Shelby County Fair. I love it. As our Ian Hardwood and Cedar photojournalist Alyssa Newton report, the breathtaking moment shows us how precious life really is. When a Taylorsville grandfather had a heart attack called a widow maker, it was a Southeast bullet firefighter that saved his life. Although he wasn't working at the time, he says he's always on the clock. You know, a lot of the times we do that and on the fire side of things, we don't see him after that. Um, this time I actually got to go meet the family and that was that was really cool. Tatum Shar started his life saving career as a junior firefighter in Taylorsville. It's a small town where he says everybody is family. Now he can officially add two more to the list. I guess you could say we have a new member of the family because we're never going to, you know, forget what he's done and we're never going to let him forget it either. Clifton Vaught doesn't remember his rescue, but his wife Wanda does. From what I've seen, you know, uh, he was gasping for air and I was just telling him, you know, breathe, just breathe, Clifton. After a 12 hour shift on June 12th, Clifton hauled a four wheeler to the Shelby County Fair so his grandson could drag race. Midway through the races, the grandfather dropped and Shar bolted across the drag strip. He saved Clifton's life with CPR, then checked on him later in the hospital. I said, yeah, you kind of scared me a little bit too, because in the middle of it, you just woke up and looked straight at me. But the young rescuer opened Clifton's eyes in another way, to life's finer details. But I notice it now, the little stuff that we all take for granted every day. Now, as he notices more, uh, he looks forward to teaching his other grandchildren about drag racing. It's more time together that he now owes to Shar, though Shar humbly owes his heroics to the mentors who trained him. But I just got lucky enough to have some light shed on mine. And I, you know, everybody in the fire service has that moment. Though in this case, it was a moment with a less than 1% chance of survival. His doctor told him it was a miracle. A miracle giving Clifton more time for what he loves. I actually was talking to his son and uh, he said they're getting ready to come back out and I said, I'll see you out there. In Bullitt County, Ian Hardwick, WHAS 11, on your side. And Clifton told us that while he was recovering, he struggled to remember the firefighters' visits to the hospital, but they are meeting tomorrow at the firehouse for an unforgettable reunion. Very cool.